This question is specifically for uh, Mayor Love. Um, you're running your campaign on the promises to reduce the size of government, reduce spending, and reduce taxes. Yet during your time as city councilwoman and mayor, you have done the opposite. For example, the city council raised uh, property taxes three years in a row during a recession, increasing it by 161 percent. You substantially increased the size of government, including many new city positions, and also have overspent on several things, including over $100,000 for furniture for the new city office, and have increased the budget by 64% since 2009, as well as the city deficit of over $2.5 million. That does not sound like the, the record of a, con a fiscal conservative. Can you please explain yourself? Absolutely. First of all, um, just to let you know that you're incorrect when you talk about raising taxes three years in a row. We've had a truth in taxation once, and Saratoga Springs in 97, if you understand municipal government, Saratoga Springs in 97, when it incorporated, it was a um, pretty much 1,000 people, two state roads, no infrastructure, absolutely nothing. Saratoga Springs was doing all of its business on uh, building permits, and that was about it. When Saratoga Springs um, in 2008, the housing market crashed. And we went back to making the same revenues that we were making in 97. The difference is we had, instead of 1,000, we had 17,000 people. Instead of having, we had public safety that we had, that's a fire department, a police department, roads and infrastructure. So we had a $3.5 million shortfall. When we set a municipal tax for the first time, and if you look at every single, uh, if every single uh, city in history, you have to do it once. Because you cannot sit there and just say, well, we're just going to be an ag development, especially if you're growing so much. I don't know how many, how many um, cities you've been involved with that has grown 1,700% in 10 years. But it's a task. And we made sure that our property tax pays for nothing but public safety. You have to understand, I know what my role is. That is to provide public safety. That's like saying you want to cut the military budget in the United States. That's, that's inappropriate. And so... I, I was elected 60% of the votes after that, by the way, and Saratoga Springs holds the highest bond rating available to it. And we are well on our way, we are financially stable, and we will be for the next 50, 60, 70 years.